know, Actually, yeah. Coach Friendly had talked about how maybe, um, you know, as you're getting closer to this record, maybe it's been a little stressful. What's it kind of been like for you as you inch closer and closer? Yeah. Is it something you think about much? Uh, n not really. I mean, we, we have games. You want to go out and you win the games. That's the whole goal. And so I you don't really think about it when you're out there. I mean, it might be in the back of your mind, but once you start playing, it's all about the game, the scouting report, and what's going on in the moment. No, when I talked to you a couple of weeks ago, I'd asked about Angie Welly. Have you talked to her recently or anything? Or no, I haven't. Done some research on her? Uh, I found out she graduated <laughs> in 2002, and I was like, oh, I was only two years old. <laughs> no, last time you played, you know, your team played Texas, you were out. I think you had to watch the game from a hotel. Yeah, that right? yeah, that is correct. You were just in quarantine? In yeah. A, in a hotel. What was that like being in a room by yourself watching the game? Uh, it was hard uh, having to watch and not being able to be out there with my team. But uh, things happen and you just have to move on from it. So now uh, we have another chance and we just have to take the opportunity that we have. How fired up are you getting in the hotel room when, <laughs> when the game's going up, going on? Uh, I might have been yelling at the TV a little bit, <laughs> just because I knew the scouting report and like it's different when you can see what's going on. Like when you're playing, you don't really see everything, but when you're watching, you see a lot more, and you're like, oh, someone's open or different things like that. Some of like Aubrey was like in the room next to you. Yeah, she was like across the hall. So. <laughs> what was that like? How, were you guys texting back and forth or? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'm not big in texting. It's <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it even more, knowing you, you didn't get to play them last time? Yeah, I mean, anytime you get a chance to play, uh, I'm excited. Our team's excited, and uh, it's just another opportunity that we have. Uh, after this great start that we've had, we just have to keep uh, extending that and kind of learning from our mistakes in the past and uh, really buy into what our scouting report is and what the coaches are saying. In watching the game live and kind of having that aspect, does that help you at all uh, coming into this one? Oh, uh, a little bit, just because you, you see Texas. It's kind of like watching film again, mm -hmm. but uh, you see Texas and the way they play and uh, their tendencies, so it kind of helps that way. And then how are the vibes kind of in the locker room and surrounding this week, uh, just knowing how big of a week it is? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're all really focused, so uh, you can kind of tell in practice we're all really uh, focused on the scouting report, what the coaches are saying, so it's not as, uh, I guess, loud or, like, I guess, fun. And I, like, everyone's not messing around. It's very businesslike. Coach Fenley has obviously talked about, since you got here, the, the story of, hey, see Bridget Carlton, do what Bridget Carlton does. As you approach this record and you've got past her that, you passed Angie. <laughs> can you reflect on what it meant to you to have her as an example? I mean, you already carved out quite an example for yourself, what you did at City High, but what did it mean to have her as someone to look up to and model yourself after at this level? Yeah, uh, just kind of seeing the way she conducted herself, and uh, not only on the court, but off the court, and then uh, watching how hard she worked. She was always in the gym getting in extra shots, extra work, so just kind of seeing that uh, kind of helped show like how much work you have to put in and uh, the time that it takes. Coach Family also says you, he says like, everyone loves to play basketball, but you just love basketball. He says you <laughs> love the weight room, you love the drill. It, is there an element of that grunt work that is your favorite thing, or you feel makes is the most productive thing that helps you perform better in games? Uh, not necessarily, <laughs> just kind of the whole thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, I love getting in the weight room, getting, uh, trying to get stronger, faster. Uh, Cassandra does an amazing job with us, uh, making sure that we're keeping on weight and maintaining it throughout the season, and then uh, helping us get faster, stronger, because the, the Big 12 is a very physical uh, conference. So. All these accolades are starting to stack up for the team. Best start to 24 games, highest ranking in 20 years, and there's the individual accolades. You can become the leading scorer in program history. Ashley, or I'm sorry, Emily had the assist. What does it mean to be a part of a team that's kind of a part of all these historical moments throughout Iowa State's program's history? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, when we're winning, uh, of course that's fun. I mean, no one likes to lose. So just when you can keep winning and uh, you see the success, uh, on the court and uh, everyone gets along so it makes it a lot more fun when you are playing with people that you enjoy being around and uh, enjoy playing with.